The Pritchard Water Board says it's got a staffing crisis, which could shut the utility down by the end of the week. That's according to one of the board members at an emergency meeting today. Friday is the last day for the sole remaining sewer treatment plant operator. And our investigative reporter, Brendan Kirby, was at that meeting tonight. He's live in the studio. And Brendan, they really are going to be shutting down? Well, it's a possibility, Lenise and Byron, although the board chairman and attorney downplayed that. All agree, though, that the utility will have to make temporary arrangements and fast. The Pritchard water system is no stranger to problems. Its former operations manager is under criminal indictment. Federal agents raided its headquarters in February. Customers have sued over high bills, and there's a long-running legal fight with the city of Pritchard over fire hydrants. Add a staffing crisis to the list. The current operations manager, Michael McClantock, is stepping down for health reasons. The sewer plant manager recently left, and the last plant operator is leaving Friday. Board member John Johnson Jr. says it could take the whole system down. We are currently two days away from closing due to the negligent, selfish behavior of our chairman. Board Chairman Russell Heidelberg says the utility will address the issue. If we cannot hire an operator, then we would have to try to get an operator under contract or we can get an operator part-time from some other facility. If we can't do that, we would probably end up having to get a company to either let, let us use their operator to run the plant or get a company to run the plant. The board voted five to nothing Wednesday to advertise for two treatment plant operators. The board also voted unanimously to give each employee a one-time $250 bonus. Johnson and board member Cherry Doyle say that they hope the board will revisit a proposal to give a 5% cost of living raise. That proposal failed earlier this month amid concerns over whether the utility could afford it. They accuse Heidelberg of mismanagement. There's no funds because our chairperson is decided to spend the money that comes through that door the way he wants to spend it and not the way it should be spent. Board Attorney Jay Ross says the system either will find a temporary replacement for the treatment plant or work with the Alabama Department of Environmental Management to bridge the gap. Well, I don't think the threat of closing doors is really accurate. That may just be perhaps an overstatement to emphasize the critical needs of the board to keep and find and retain qualified sewer operators. Now, Friday is also supposed to be McClantock's last day on the job, but Ross says that he may be open to working part-time for a period to ease the transition. Reporting live in the studio, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.